Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how you can create a basic histogram in R or specifically R Studio. Uh, the first line, Control Enter Packages, shows that I have installed by default stats, graphic, graphic devices, utilities, datasets, methods and base. Um, my working directory needs to be set just in case um, and I'll need some data to actually uh, show uh, how this works. Um, I have my data stored in an SPSS file, so I'll be needing a, a Haven package to actually load that in. And then go for my data, and I'll show you what that looks like. It's quite a lot of information, but the only variable that I'm actually interested in, in this case, for the histogram is a histogram of the age variable. So I'll go back to my uh, file, and it can be done very quickly by using the hist command, which is, I think, in base, my data, and then h, control enter, and it now gives me a nice histogram of all the ages. The number of bins here is set by something known as the Sturgis rule. If you want to adjust that, there is a whole field of um, statistics that actually deals with how many bins you should use, so I'm not going to go into that. Uh, plenty is written about it. Um, but let's say we want to have 8 bins for some reason, uh, the same thing. Let's also label the x uh, axis a little bit nicer, just H, and the Y label should also have a decent uh, label, so let's call that frequency. And Ctrl Enter to load this one in. As you can see, the histogram now has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 bins. Now, for some reason, if you want to show the f uh, probability densities, you can add the line frequent or the option frequency equals false. And if you do that, you actually get the probability densities. Zoom in. So that means that the area of these bins now will equal the probability. For more information, because you can also change colors, there's more on setting bins, uh, especially bins with different sizes. Uh, check out the histogram uh, option in the in the help packages or there is a nice website uh, that you can go to that actually also explains it quite nicely. Okay, that's it. Hope you found this video helpful. 